five things you need to start making video games coming up. Hey everybody, it's Travis Broman. For those of you who are new to this channel, I make daily videos with tips, tricks, and industry advice on game development. If you feel that this would be useful to you, consider subscribing. So today I want to talk about five things that you need to start making games. With the exception of the first one, they're all free. And if you have a computer, then they're all free. So with that, the first one is a computer. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a super powerful computer. Uh, a lot of people think to make games that you need a ultra high-end computer uh, with you know tons of RAM, tons of storage space, uh, and, and an awesome graphics card, super powerful graphics card. And those things might be true if you're trying to make a AAA title, but when you're just starting to make games and you're really trying to determine which path you want to go, you don't need any of those things. Uh, a two or three hundred dollar laptop from Walmart will more than suffice. It's definitely not something that I would recommend for long term, but if it's something that you're just wanting to get into and you're wanting to learn as a hobby and you want to grow with it, then this is where I would suggest starting. Because putting, up, putting down a whole bunch of money up front into a computer for something that you might decide that you don't like doing after all is not that great of an idea. So I would say, you know, start with a, a you know a $300 laptop uh, at most or whatever computer you happen to have around will do just fine. The second thing is an internet connection. Everything is basically available on the internet. So you need an internet connection. And that's to be able to download software, look up tutorials, uh, read forums, um, and, and uh, watch YouTube videos on, on making games. So you just need an internet connection. It doesn't have to be the fastest one. You just need to be able to connect to the internet. That's it. Next thing you're going to need is some sort of image editing software. There are tons of these. A lot of people use Photoshop, but Photoshop's expensive. So if you're just starting off with this, you might want to use a free alternative. Uh, one of the most popular free alternatives out there is the GNU Image Manipulation Program, which is unfortunately abbreviated to GIMP. But despite its unfortunate name, it is a really great piece of software. It's open source, it's absolutely free. There are tons of things that you can do with it and it is more than adequate to start making games. And I know some professionals that even use it. So, so that's the third thing. Fourth thing, of course, is a game engine. You need a game engine to make games. Now, yes, you could go and write one yourself. I don't recommend that if, that, if you're just starting off uh, writing games, but there are free game engines out there that you can use. Of course, there's paid, there's paid options too. But uh, if you, there's a free version of Construct 2. Uh, eventually to get the, the full personal version of that, I think it's $200. But there is a free version of it that's more than ad adequate to download and start making games. Uh, there's also Unity, which is free. There is Unreal 4, which is also free. So those right there are three super powerful, awesome engines. For getting started making games. Now, Construct I would recommend because it's much simpler uh, to make games out of. It's 2D only. Unity supports 2D and 3D games, and uh, Unreal supports both 2D and 3D games. Um, although, I haven't tried making a 2D game in Unreal, so that's going to be something I'm going to have to try in an upcoming video. But if you're just starting out, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Just go with the one that feels right to you. And learn that engine and, and, and run with it. Finally, the fifth thing that you will need is time. And you will need a lot of it. It doesn't necessarily have to all be in large chunks. In fact, it probably shouldn't be. It should be something that's spread out over time. So if you have a full-time job already, you know, do it for a couple of hours um, a week, maybe after work or or whatnot, and then do it on the weekends. You know, if you work part-time or something like that, or maybe you're, you're a kid in college, then you know you could do it between classes. You're a little bit better off, perhaps, to, to begin learning because you've got a lot, of, a lot more time at your disposal. But bear in mind that just because you have more time doesn't necessarily mean that you have an advantage over others if you don't use that time properly. So um, I don't really want to go into time management here, but, but that's the fifth thing that you really are going to need. You're going to need lots of time. You need time to upskill. Well, first off, learn the engine, and then upskill and using the engine and all these different pieces of software and all these aspects of, of uh, game development. 
but uh, with, with these five things, you could start making games right now. So again, uh, I just want to recap. First thing is a computer. Second is an internet connection. Third thing is a image uh, editing program. Fourth thing is a game engine. And the fifth thing is time. So if you've got those five things, all of which are free, potentially, um, with the exception of the first, you can start making games right now. If you're using a computer to watch this video, you can literally go and get all those other things. Well, the other three things, because you already obviously have internet to go start making games right now. So you don't need a big fancy setup, you don't need to spend lots of money, you only need those things. So I hope this helped. Please leave me some feedback in the comments below if it did help. Uh, your feedback is very important to me, so I will answer every comment that you guys leave me. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys tomorrow.